Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome to today's video. I feel like it's been so long, well it kind of has, it's been like two weeks since I filmed a video, maybe a little bit more than that, and I have missed filming videos. I was sick for a week, basically, and then my daughter, poor little thing, got sick with the flu. Thankfully, it was right after her birthday trip, so it wasn't during her birthday trip, but it still sucked and it took us down, and there's nothing worse than seeing your little baby sick, even though she's not a baby anymore, she's seven, but she's still always gonna be my little baby. But she's all better now, thankfully. Thank you to everyone that reached out to me and wished me and my daughter well on social media. I really appreciate it, it meant a lot to me, and it did to Lennon as well. And I went over two weeks without going to the Dollar Tree. How insane is that? That is crazy for me. I was going to try and go to a Dollar Tree when I was in Colorado for my daughter's birthday a couple weeks ago, but it was just too busy. We were having so much fun and I didn't want to stop what we were doing to try and find a Dollar Tree, so I wasn't able to go to a Colorado Dollar Tree. But after my daughter got better and I was better, I did hit up my local Dollar Tree and I found some things that I hadn't seen before and then some things that, you know, you just feel like you need. Not a gigantic haul but I found some good stuff that I definitely wanted to share. So, let's get into it. I picked up this flowers and garden bucket? What would you call this? A bucket shore is what I'll call it. I have seen this before, but not in this shape and size. I've seen them that are a little bit shorter and kind of a little bit longer, but I loved this one so much and I had to get it. I think this would be so cute just as decor without even putting anything in it, but of course you could add some flowers into it or whatever you wanted to do, um, but I just thought this was a really cute find. Dollar Tree's succulents are back and I picked some up, so it's not a new item, but it's the first time I've seen them this season um, or this new year. I picked up this one that is the purpley color with the greenish, yeah that's green, <laughs> inside the middle. It does have the black bottom. I'm not going to keep these in their little containers. However, I do think the little containers are cute. This one I got, just the green one. I also picked up this one. It's falling out of the top, but it's okay because I don't need it in there anyways. I really like the shape of this one as well. I think they look cool mixed together or use them on your own, on their own. Succulents are one of my favorite plants, flowers, whatever they are considered. I love them. I also took some pictures when I was at this Dollar Tree to share some things that I found that I didn't necessarily need, but they were still new to me. So I will put those at the end of the video if you are interested in seeing those. I'll have those, you know, I'll put them at the end for you. Another thing that I found that was new to me, at least I think it was new to me, I've never bought it before, is by Diamond Cosmetics and it says Super Dry and it's just a top coat for making your nails dry faster. It says, after applying your favorite nail, apply super dry as your top coat over wet. It will dry the enamel all the way to a nice hard shine. I mostly got this to use on my daughter's nails because she gets very impatient when she has to wait for them to dry. So I'm going to test this out and see how it works. If any of you guys have used this though, let me know in the comments below if this has worked for you. Hopefully it works. That would be awesome. Another new thing that I found is this little, what is it considered? A decorative tray. It just looks like this. I thought the color was really pretty. If you've watched my channel, you know I'm a sucker for this color, and it's just cardboard, I would say, but yeah, cardboard. But I thought it was cute. You could do DIYs with this or just set it somewhere and be like a little place to put your keys or whatever. You could do so many things with it. They also had it in a pink and gold polka dot which was really cute, except for the pink was a little salmon-y pink and not really a pink that I gravitate towards, so I wish it was a baby pink because I love a baby pink. So I didn't pick that one up, but I did take a picture of it, so you'll see that at the end too if you're interested in that, but definitely a cute little tray. I found some new wall art that I thought was really cute and I could use in my daughter's playroom. This one says Inspire, and it's just, I love the colors of it. It's really colorful. I love you know, the message on it, and I just had to grab it. Another wall art that I found is this one that says Adventures Are Forever, and it has this elephant on there. I love elephants so much. I used to collect them when I was little, little um, ceramic elephants. 
I have no idea where that collection went, but I wish I still had it. But I love elephants, so when I saw this, I had to grab it. And again, I love the colors of it. I think it'll be cute. I think I'm gonna do like a little um, wall, like a gallery wall kind of thing, or I'm not sure exactly, but I think I'm gonna put a lot of the different Dollar Tree um, wall art that I have kind of together and make it like a focal point in her playroom or something. I don't know, I think that'd be cute. I also picked up these heart picks. I feel like I haven't seen these before. Maybe I have, but again, I feel like I haven't. And if I did see them before, I didn't want them then, and I wanted them now. So I thought these would be cute to put in my coffee bar area as like little coffee stirs. I don't know, I thought that would just be a cute little touch. My husband needed a new little notepad, so I grabbed this one for him from the Dollar Tree. I like the front, well blue is his favorite color, but I love that this has a little pocket, so if there's things that he wants to keep, um, that he needs to keep with his notes, he can just put it right in there. And then it's just lined paper, so nothing crazy, but I thought this was um, cool with the little pocket on there. I didn't, I don't feel like I've seen that before, but I don't know, maybe I have. Regardless, I think he will get some use out of this for sure. Next, I picked up this Jot plastic zip envelope. It, I love that it has this plastic, or this um, zipper at the top, and it's see-through. They also had it, I think the top was green maybe. I got this to store some of my stickers in. I think it will be perfect and it's nice and big so I like that a lot. I think that I probably will end up needing a few more of these. The next two things I got are for organization purposes. I'm working on another video for you guys with organization in mind. So I picked up this. It has, it's a notebook, not a notebook, it's a folder but it also has this front pocket that you can stick stuff in and zip it up so you don't lose it and it doesn't fall out of the folder. So I got one in pink and one in blue. I think this is such a clever way to do a folder with a little pouch on the front. Front, I think it will be very useful. The next two things that I got are these sunglasses cases. I got it in this blue color and this one that has the blue design on it. I didn't get them to hold sunglasses, however you obviously could. I got it for, again, another organization little thing that I'm doing that I will definitely share with you guys once it's all done. Nala, you're panting. Hi guys. Hello, Len and Love. The rest of the stuff that I got is all stuff to use around my house. Most of it's not new, but I wanted to share it in case you haven't seen it before. This is the only thing that I've never purchased before. This is a six outlet wall plug thing. I needed one of these and when I saw it at the Dollar Tree, I knew I wanted to get it and try it out. So hopefully it works because these are a little pricey in the store. So a dollar for this is definitely a great deal. My daughter needed some new toothpaste. So I picked her up the Kids Crest Sparkle Toothpaste. Here you go, Lynn and Love. I needed to refill our hand soaps in our bathroom, so I picked up this soft soap hand soap. And I bag this is out of the box. <laughs> Gotta turn it. It's sideways, anyways. <laughs> oh, it's, it's upside down. Oh, there you go. It's kids' crest. crest. It's good for your teeth. I needed to pick up some vitamin E oil for my husband, and I saw this at the Dollar Tree. I looked at the ingredients. And it says basically, it's just coconut oil, vitamin E, and soybean oil. So I went ahead and grabbed it from the Dollar Tree and it does say made in the USA. So hopefully this will work like we needed to. I think in my last Dollar Tree haul, I hauled one of these but in white and I said I wanted the pink and this time they had the pink. I feel like you can never have enough of these. I keep them literally in every room, in lots of different drawers. I lose them all the time. I don't know where they go and then they die. So I went ahead and grabbed another one when I saw the pink one. The last thing I got was this. Um, I don't even know what this is considered but you shake stuff out. I did not get this for food purposes. I got this to hold baking powder that I use to put on my couch when I'm cleaning it. I will have a video on that hopefully in the next couple of weeks, but hopefully this will work out how I envision it working in my head, but I will definitely let you guys know once I've tried it out and um, see how it all works together. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the things that I picked up. I will have a couple videos going back to back to try and catch me up from 
being sick and my daughter being sick. I will also be sharing later this week a video of our trip to Colorado when we went to see snow for my daughter's birthday. It was such an awesome trip. It was so magical and I'm excited to share it with you guys. I'm also sharing a a uh, bit of her birthday party with you guys and showing some different ways that I decorated for her party using stuff from the Dollar Tree and just some tips and tricks to decorate for a birthday party on a budget. So stay tuned for that. That should be up tomorrow. I've got lots of stuff in store, so I can't wait to share it all with you guys. But that is it for today. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. 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 Have a nice day or afternoon or night. <laughs>